And in this day in which we live, I want to tell you, more and more people object to the gospel of Jesus Christ perhaps than ever before in America's history. And a lot of it is because of what is being taught in our schools. Not just our colleges, but our high schools, junior highs, and now even in our elementary schools. Our children are hearing, hearing this. Children, the LGBTQ movement is normal. It's okay. Look at me. It's not normal, and it's not okay. Listen to this. They're hearing this. Gender is not decided at conception or in the womb. Gender is a choice. Look at me. Gender is not a choice. God made them male and female in His image. He made a male to be a male and to be attracted to a female. And he made a female to be a female attracted to a male. That's the way God created it. That is not the way our students are being taught. And then they say a woman has rights and has rights over the fetus. They won't call it a baby in her womb. And if she wants to take that, ba- that fetus's life right up until birth. And some say even after birth, for whatever reason. If, if they want a boy and they know she's pregnant with a girl, have an abortion. If you don't want a child, just have an abortion. And they say that's not really killing anybody because it's not really a human being until the mother wants the baby. Well, I got news for you. That's a lie. The minute of conception is when that is a baby. Now, where does all that weird stuff come from? I'll tell you. There is no God. There is no creator. This whole creation just happened. Now, think about the faith that it takes to believe that. Everything you see at one time, didn't exist because everything came from nothing. There was no God. There's just somehow there's some explosion. We don't even know where all that came from. Let's don't bother with that. That was billions and trillions of years ago. I always say that. And somehow inorganic matter was just, it just showed up. I started to say it was created. They don't believe that. Just showed up. And somehow this rock or this inorganic material became organic. Do you, you hear what I just said? It would be like this podium over the next hundred years becoming a human being. You say, that's the crazy. You've lost your mind. No, I haven't lost my mind. I don't teach this stuff, all right? It's like inorganic stuff can become organic. It can become living. Stones can come alive over billions of years. And then in this little primitive form of organic material, it starts evolving. And after a while, it's out in the water. And after a while, it wants to go up to the beach. And so it just kind of steps out on the beach. And it realizes it can't step because it doesn't have any legs. So billions of years later, it grows them some legs so it can, its, ants, its descendants can go to the beach. And so they get out on the beach and say, this is, light, this is nice, but I'm dragging my, my tummy on the sand. I want to stand up. And so it can't stand up. So billions of years later, after it decides to stand up, one of its descendants stands up. And they start walking on the beach. And they say, I don't need that tail anymore. And billions of years later, the tail falls off. And then they stand up, and then they go get a Ph.D. and teach this stuff at our universities. We have lost our minds. We have lost our minds. I'll tell you how it was. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And He created them in His image. 
Male and female, He created them. We've lost our minds. And you tell me, I've got to have faith. I don't have enough faith to believe that gobbledygook, all right? I believe there's a God. I've seen 15 little babies plus my four babies born. And when I looked into their little face, that is not the result of billions of years of random mutation. That is the result of an almighty God.